Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. In this video, I am going to show a manual small incision cataract surgery. And this is the first time I am trying pre chopper in a small incision cataract surgery. My plan is to divide the nucleus into two halves with the help of a pre chopper designed by Dr. Sohel Irfan Khan. Let us see how it works. By this time, peritomy has been done and mild cautery has been done. And this is the 4 millimeter mark. And this is a 50 number Bard Parker blade. And I have made incision for only 4 millimeter. Now I take a crescent blade and make a sclerocorneal tunnel. The inner incision is about 5 millimeter, and the outer incision is about 4 millimeter. So, the tunnel is prepared and now this is a side port at around 9 o'clock. Size of this side port is about 2.2 millimeter and this is an air bubble. Tripan blue dye is applied over the anterior capsule. This is a bit of adrenaline. The dye is washed out. And then 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is used to fill up the anterior chamber. And now I am going to use this utrita forceps for rexis. The size of this rexis is about 5.5 to 5.75 millimeter, less than 6 millimeter. Now I do hydrodissection, and then the nucleus is mobilized. The nucleus rotates nicely. The antechamber is again filled up with visco. And now I take the pre chopper, and before that, I have to make another side port on the left side for use of a sustainer. And here goes the pre chopper. And I divide the nucleus into two halves and come out. And now the sclerocorneal tunnel is opened. The outer opening of this tunnel is 4 millimeter inner opening is about 5 millimeter. The cortical matter is removed for better visibility. And now I have to pull these heminuclei out of the bag. Since the size of the rexis is small, it will not come out easily. So, I use two hooks and bring on heminucleus out. And with the help of an irrigating vectus, I try to remove on heminucleus, but it breaks in the tunnel. Now, I inject visco through the side port as well as through the main wound. 
and try again by the irrigating vectors and this time this portion of the nucleus comes out. Again inject visco, this hemineucleus has to be removed now with the help of these two hooks I bring it out of the bag orient this in this way and use the vectors but again it breaks. Now I inject visco again place it in such a way that it engages easily into the tunnel and this time it comes out easily. Inject visco again, depress the posterior leaf and this portion of the nucleus comes out. And now I am going to use a 22 gauge Simcoe cannula so that I can remove this cortex easily. I go through the side port and remove all the cortex. And now I fill up the capsular bag as well as the anterior chamber with this viscoelastic substance. This is 2 percent HPMC. Use a cartridge and a foldable intraocular lens to place it in the bag. You can see that the optic of the intraocular lens has been overlapped by the anterior capsular rim and it means the size of the rexis is less than 6 millimeter. Now I am irrigating the capsular bag as well as the anterior chamber to remove the visco. There was a bit of cortex at 11 o'clock which has been removed now. And go through the side port again and remove some more visco. My plan is not to use any automated machine like FECO machine for this surgery. The side ports are closed by hydrating corneal stroma. The sclerocorneal tunnel has been constructed in such a way that it is self sealing. It took a longer time than I would have taken for fecal emulsification, but this is an experiment and it shows that good quality surgery can be done manually. And I have some post op pictures, let us see the post op pictures. These pictures have been taken three days after surgery. Cornea is clear, antechamber is quiet, unaided vision is 6 by 9 and see the wound. It is uh, nice. Conjunctiva is opposed to the limbus very nicely. Thank you very much for your attention. This is an initial experience of uh, pre-chopper assisted small incision cataract surgery.